And here I'm going to go over the if statement, the sumif, and countif function. The if statement basically is going to check a criteria and give you a true result or a false result depending on, on what the criteria is. So we'll start off by just going right into it, inserting the function. And we want to see, is the salary over $40,000? So we're going to do if. And what's the test? The test is, is this cell greater than 40000 What's the value of true? Here you can type in, you can put true if you want. You can put, you can put yes. If you want to put a word, you can put a whole, a whole phrase in there. You can even put a number in there if you want 10 to come up. So uh, I pressed enter, so let's go back into it. So let's just say we want yes to come up. And if the value is false, no. Click OK. And there we go. We've got a yes. If we're going to copy this down, here's a yes. The salary is over 40000 These are no, no, because they're under 40000 Here's a 50000 which is, so that's a yes. So that's all. If we look at the actual formula, it shows, is this cell greater than 40000 And then here's the yes, and here's the no criteria. This is where you can get more complex if you wanted to where you can start doing nested ifs a nested if basically is just an if statement and then another if statement within it say instead of no you want another if statement we're not going to get into that in this video but that's just where you can how you can do it so here's just the simple ex explanation of what an if statement is now we're going to go over sum if and count if a sum if basically it will look for a criteria and if it matches it it's going to add a, a certain other cell. So in this case, we want to sum up with a salary based on the department. So we've got all these different departments here. Like here's finance. This person's $50,000. If we go down, look in, here's sales. This person's $35,000. And we want to add all these up to see what the total for each department is. So we're going to insert a function. And here's the sum if. Click OK. And what's the range? The range is the cells that uh, you want evaluated. So we're going to look in the department, and we're going to look f for, the, um, for the department right in here. What's the criteria is the condition that, that we're looking for. So in this case, we're looking up the department name, which is finance or administration. So we just click right on the cell. You can type, right, type finance right in if you wanted, but we can just do the reference since we're going to copy it down. And some range, what do we want to add up? In this case, we want to add up the salary. We could add, add a bonus if we want. Um, then we just do column D. But in this case, we're just going to add up the salary. So what it's going to do, it's going to find all the ones that say here, finance, pull and pull in the, the salary amount. We'll click OK. We get $522,000. You can drag this down and copy it. And now we've got all the different departments and what each one uh, make in total. And this is a... Uh, this can be changed as you go along. Say a different person, say this was $522,000. Say instead of 50000 now they make 75000 All of a sudden, this jumped to 547000 So it's pretty dynamic. It'll, it'll change as these numbers change automatically. And that's just for summing it. Say we want to count how many people are in finance, how many people are in marketing department. That's where the count if function comes into play. So we're going to do the count if. We're going to count the employees. So let's insert another function. Count if. Click OK. And this one's a little easier to do. There's only two different boxes to fill in. First, we want the range. Uh, what do we want to count? Which is the department. So how many of each are in there? And the criteria, we could type in the word finance if we wanted. Or it's better just to use the reference. Because then we're going to copy it down. So the criteria is, is M5, which is finance. We'll click OK. And now there's nine people in finance. We'll copy this down. And we've got the listing of all the people in finance. And again, this is dynamic. If instead of finance, this person, say, changes to sales, now all of a sudden there's eight people. And also the sum just got reduced by that, that person's salary. So this, is, uh, this will change as your numbers change. And that's uh, pretty much it for the, all those three of the ifs.